Sitting at Warland Aviation for the past three months, a detailed examination revealed massive corrosion, not surprising after 23 years on a perch outside the Albury Airport. The DC-2 was put there in 1979 as a lasting reminder of an incredible forced landing at the Albury Racecourse in 1934. Hundreds of residents guided the plane to safety by shining their car headlights. Three months ago, the council staged a massive operation with the use of cranes to remove Move the IVA for restoration. But it appears the old plane is too far gone and will never grace the perch outside the airport again. There are fears a big storm might unseat the plane, which still contains its 400 kilogram engine. The council now has three options. One is to fix it up, um, there's some options to uh, redevelop the memorial, uh, there's proper options to uh, uh, conserve it in its existing state, um, and there's options to supposed to downgrade it and get rid of it. Fixing the plane has been estimated to cost half a million dollars. If it's sold, it would probably fetch $100,000. It may have a market value, um, but certainly I think the council, if it was looking at that particular area, would be certainly looking at someone who was going to uh, preserve the aircraft as is uh, and perhaps even had the resources to, uh, to um, restore it. Aubrey's Blom family, who have set up a website to commemorate the plane, are outraged at the thought of selling or warehousing the IVA. They say it would cost far less than half a million dollars to restore and claim the council is not interested in preserving Aubrey's history.